fans here in Adelaide are happy. They lead by 21 points. Adelaide 5-1, Fitzroy 1-4. Now, Neil, are you one of those Crow fans that are happy with what's happened today? Well, I'd love to be able to send some good news back to the Fitzroy people that are, that are watching and listening, but unfortunately we can't because the breeze has picked up even stronger and it definitely does give a lot, lot more meters to the, the kick going to right of screen. And, the, and of course... Primus uh, has been jumped over by Robert in the centre now. Fitzroy wouldn't have expected that, so that's something else that's a concern for the coach. And also Modder and D. Jarman and Liptak are finding a lot of footy. So it's all bad news for Fitzroy at this stage, and they would have to put together a very strong quarter against the Breeze to hold the Crows this quarter. Yes, indeed. Thanks, Neil. Well, here we go. Start of the second quarter. Robert gets his hand on the footy, working hard in close is Jarman to Anderson and then back to Bickley. Ball half forward of certain. Robin runs on from 35 metres, kicks and has got a quick one at the start of the quarter. His second and the Crow six. This is a very effective play like that, but their use of the ball coming out of the centre was uh, first class, just instinctive movement with hands. Just finding the player free, Jarman, Anderson, then to Bickley around the corner. And then the contest here, Pike not able to control it, and the players just feeding through. He could have handled a lift tack, short pass to Modra. Why not have a shot at goal? A nicely balanced kick too by Robin. Yeah. He didn't panic, Ross, That's did right. he? Just, just, just took steady. a couple of steadying steps. Yeah, stepped it through. So Chris Mitchell bounces the ball. Primus gets his hands to it. It's kicked forward by Carter towards the half forward line. Thump back court, kicked in mid air, a thumping kick. And it uh, rolled right up to the half forward line. So it's, uh, it was kicked by John McCarthy. And it will be a throw in about 35 metres around. Here's Hogg. Being picked up by Ferning, the young player. So let's see what the Roys can do into this uh, breeze. Nigel Smart trying to get front position. In fact, Collins uh, went there in front of him. Here's Cassidy getting it into Hogg. A quick kick to the full forward area. Brad Boyd against Ben Hart. Hart will take it over the line. And he would be quite happy with that. So right beside the behind post. Adelaide leads 6 1 to 1 4. There's Brad Boyd. He's been a terrific player for Fitzroy for a number of years. And I'm sure he'll be picked up by Brisbane. There's big Primus. Hogg, did he, was he pushed in the back? Primus trying to tell the umpire he was. And the umpire having none of that. Number 26 is Tim Pfeiffer. Primus, looks like uh, Nigel Smart to take him on again in this ruck contest. Primus used his body well. Tried to get it down with the left hand. And a pack developed, so it'll be a bounce about 10 metres out from the Fitzroy goal. It's another bounce. Very close to Fitzroy's goal. Players push the ball towards the goal. Dangerous stuff here for the Crows. Anderson reads it beautifully. Comes away on that left foot of his and goes out to Jarman, who is so Brett Chandler now playing on him. So yeah. Rolls Royce is <laughs> Jarman. Good to watch. Oh, the Crows. Just that handball from Pickley. They've done it very well until then. And the, the handball just didn't hit. So it allows Pot to handball. Most unusual. Is it off to the running Banford? Gets it back from Rambotas from 45 metres, kicks it low and has just squeezed it across the boundary line rather than the goal line and out of bounds. So, interesting build up there and just a turnover in the middle, Ross. One just handball that didn't yeah. hit for the Crows. Yes, yeah, an almost sense it should have been a kick. It's easy to say from here, but you're right. A boundary throw in, just once again, Fitzroy into attack. Players up. Underneath, caught underneath, really, and that'll be another bounce. Just looking at Bamford and McGuinness, too, Mel. It looks as if uh, McGuinness may, in fact, have the, re the role of running with Bamford. Just in front of us. Ruckman go at it. Johnson Ooh. goes at it, too, and goes down. And again, another boundary throw. And what I mean by that is uh, we mentioned Bamford and McGuinness together in the first quarter, but I think uh, it may have been thought that Bamford had the task on McGuinness, but it might be the other way around, I think. Johnson ran into Rusciuto's shoulder then. <laughs> and, uh, you'd certainly get hurt. Dean Kemp could tell you that. Danny Morton gets, gets it to Atkins. Here's Hogg. Oh, cleverly done by Atkins towards Morton and Cassidy. Cassidy 
trying to get onto his right boot, brings it across, and that's good play, finds Johnson. And Johnson's got, oh, tried to clear the man on the mark with a short pass, kicked it into him, though. On it comes to Atkins, holding the ball, says the umpire against Johnson, deemed him to be in control, and Matthew Liptak takes the free kick. He doesn't kick it, he gives it to Bickley instead. On the night to Smart, who loves to bounce. Oh, his handball back into trouble. Primus tried to soccer it off the ground. Still going the big fella, Primus. Towards Dent. Fitzroy have lifted their work rate here. The quick kick by Dent towards half forward. Some strong tackling by Rob Bowders. That was great play by Rob Bowders. Did he put in Visca? He goes to the ground as Morton and Fitzroy. I reckon they've really lifted their work rate here, Ross. Yeah, it's just a couple of uh, players, crazy, just trying to finesse a bit too much. Bounce. Half forward flank for Fitzroy. Great tap from Robin. Morton. Watch a good bounce here. Oh, gets through the traffic somehow. Then just gives up an ordinary handball. Atkins was good enough. Back to Chandler. Goes very wide from the front of the square. I mean, you wonder about that sort of kick. Anderson's there. And pretty happy to dribble that across the line as well. So really just uh, almost squared the ball to the 50-meter line when really a, sh a direct kick at goal was wrong. A lot more pressure on when it's kicked to the top of the square. Great tap from Robin to Bickley. Jarman just swings around, weeks the ball forward. Bond dies for it, can't get hold of it. Kluzak, a little give to McLeod. Caven does the shepherd. Kick comes in towards Modra, drops back. Surely he'll get it off the ground, tries to get it, can't do it. And caught in underneath. So what looked a certain goal for Modra as he missed with the soccer. And he's not happy with himself. Well, he knows he should really have marked it, shouldn't he? Yeah. There's the Crows bench that once again looks on. So it bounced right on the top of the square. Built it through by Hawking. Almost. No, McLeod's there. Has to release it. Back to Modra. Great kick to the front of the square. Super play from Modra to lift that. And football becomes a game of centimetres when you see that sort of stuff done on the boundary line to create something out of nothing. Yes, and three Fitzroy players, they're all thinking, well, should I go or the other man going to go? Matthew Liptak gets his second. Well, you're quite right, Whitey, just to get the ball alive and get it back quickly into play, and to get it back into play in the way that Modra did, to centre it towards the top of the square, other players know that if you're going to do that, you're a chance, so Liptak ran to that area. And the cloud also to keep it in play was good work. Laid by 33 points. So a huge uh, task for Fitzroy now. 33 point lead to the Adelaide Crows as Anderson comes through the middle, gives it off to McGuinness, and this is looking ominous as he drives it with a low trajectory kick, a good kick. Oh, that's an excellent mark taken by John Barker. The crowd calling for a free kick. Oh, dangerous because Jarman chipped in his lip tack. They've got runners everywhere. Now Bickley. Bickley drives it. Modder at the back. Oh, he couldn't quite hang on to it. Still a chance, though, with McLeod. Oh, he walks around. Is it holding the ball? No, he just got an attempted kick at the ball. The ball hit the post. It'll be a throw-in. But, oh, they're the ones that, at his top, Modder would take, Roscoe. Yes, he hasn't had a good jump like that for a while, has he? So... There's Hawking and Caven. Caven did pretty well. Here's Kluzek the goal. So Matthew Kluzek has got a goal out of nothing there, and Adelaide have kicked their eighth, and he's happy. 8 1, plays 1 4. Yeah, some numbers just told in the end, but they just had too many options around. Ball coming to the front of the pack. Caven through, and Kluzek just running straight at it. It's Matthew Kluzek's first goal. And I just wonder what's going through the Fitzroy players' mind now in, uh, in their predicament of not being there as Fitzroy next year. And yes, they're trying to impress, but when the scoreboard all of a sudden is nearly seven goals against you, you just wonder. Bounce back in the centre. Oh, Robin, killing them. So's Jarman. So's McGuinness. Just good players everywhere for the Adelaide Crows. Pike. Just play underneath the ball and falls to lip tack from 40 metres out. 
put down another one. Well, the training goals, Ross, and uh, perhaps there's some in, in this ground that thought that might have happened. Yes, and perhaps so, but uh, the work, as you mentioned, by Roblin, Jarm, and then McGuinness just sharing around beautifully, and uh, well left here by Peter Caven, too, just charged at it. And everyone threatened him to take it through, and then Liptak just backed up beautifully. Had the option to pass to Modra. Shot on goal was very good. Well, they're not that far out of the eight, Adelaide, and... You know, you could start talking percentage. Uh, they could certainly do with a lift in it, and it could end up coming out of percentage at the end of the year. So they'll be pretty keen of a huge quarter here, which they're proceeding to do at the moment. The kick comes down towards the half forward line. Here's Mark Visca. Oh, he's giving it back to McCarthy. McCarthy tried to get his boot to it, but Smart was with him. Here's Anderson. Tackle gets in a hand pass. Back it comes towards the boundary line. It's knocked away by the Fitzroy uh, players there. Collins was there against Hogg, and it was forced over the line. Just that handball coming in board from uh, Adelaide. You should still go to the boundary line. Just gave Fitzroy a bit of a sniff then. So the ruck contest again. Smart and Primus. Back it comes. So there'll be another throw in. 9-1 to 1-4. There's Bond from the Carlton player. It was... Not happy about being left out of the Premiership side. Adelaide by 45 points as Primus taps it over the back towards the direction of Chandler. He's got some support from Bamford. That was good play. And now he locked that in. He probably would have been better actually knocking it on. But still, they're out there and we're up here. Here's Greg Anderson. Playing pretty well. 162 games now. One of the veterans of the Crows team. Bounce. Robin taps back to Bickley. He runs hard at it to Bond. And Anderson gets that quick kick, customary quick kick. Quite does well there on McLeod to get him off the ball. Now races round. Goes direct. And McCarthy in front. Punched away by Jamison. Ooh. Cassidy comes hard at it and gets met hard. Morton, a good little give over to Hobb. Hobb kicks the ball back to the front of the square. And standing his ground is Jarman. Plenty of talking from the Crows players and they break away. Over to McGuinness. Geez, a class player, Jarman. He just can read that play so well. Tony McGuinness, low trajectory kick again. It's hard to stop kicks like that. And the mark has been taken by Caven. Now, will it be taken off him? No, umpire calling play on. As Caven runs onto the left foot, where's Modler? He's at the back. Can't quite get there. Lip tap. Oh, Lip tap's all going for another one. No, he gives it off to Robin instead, who bends it back. And it's another one. Three goals for Matthew Robin. Yes, I was just going to say to Tony McGuinness, uh, he just really pushed out very wide, and the kick in the end was terrific, found Caven, and he was able to play on here, Bart looking for a free kick, not on, and then the delivery and lip tack again was just terrific at picking where the ball's going, just around the right spot, just avoided the bodies, cleaned up very well. Yes, a 51-point margin now to Adelaide. Uh, still over 12 minutes to go of the second quarter. And they've kicked five goals already. Robran on fire. Belts it forward. Jarman puts some pressure on. Goes to Carter. Ends up back with Rombotis. Oh, they really do try and one too many, probably. Ends up back with Carter. So they've had five touches, and we're back where we started. Runs back in. At least goes direct. Direct enough to get Jamison. Off to Charman. See, it really is a procession now, isn't it? I think we're going to see a clinic here with this guy. Looks, kicks. Here's the kick to Madra. Oh! Amongst five Fitzroy players have all dropped back. And he only missed by a centimetre. Hawking breaks away for Fitzroy. And the kick's very good. And finds Carter. And one of the youngsters. Not a bad little player, Nick Carter. Yeah, just a dozen. From uh, Kangaroo Flat. There's no field games. Kicks. Anderson chips in. It's a very good mark. Baldwin was his target. Didn't find him. Now Jamison. Bickley. Very direct. Tries to find Jarman. Yes. He'll keep running on his left foot. The skills are good. Usually. Oh, perfect. Darren Jarman's happy. He's got his first, and a big smile on his face as he runs back to the centre. 
and uh, clinic time, Ross. He almost looks more balanced on his uh, left side, doesn't he, than his right. I mean, just beautiful to watch. Just to turn inside, take the mark, and then just so confident. He is a delight to watch, Darren Jarman. That's there he we, is. Well, we come to the footy, Pete. Well, I think he's uh, probably as skillful as any player in the competition in that natural ability, Jarman. He's kicking is certainly, well, I'd say it is the best in the competition, his skill level. Now, he's bombed. Bickley, Jarman all ran in, but then gives up the hand pass to Jamison. He goes short, finds lip tack. He might go again. No, he's going back to have his kick. So Robin's on his own. See, they haven't worked this out at all. This is starting to get very boring watching this. Yes, Robin well, runs forward from the ruck work and no yeah. one goes with well, him. Well, you want to see a contest. That's the sad part. And at the moment, it's 11 to 1. There's no contest. Well, let's prime us. I mean, he's sitting back in front of the goal scare. I mean, just got to run with him. So Robin has kicked three. He will kick from 51 metres. He's set sail by goal. It's another one. Matthew Robin has kicked four. And the Crows, I thought they'd kick about eight this quarter with the breeze. I think they're going to kick more. Well, when your Ruckman kicks four goals halfway through a second quarter, uh, there's something wrong with the setup the Fitzroy have got. And as Malcolm said, there's no question when this happens, you've just got to go one on one. Well, partic particularly with the Ruckman, I mean, he's just not getting a kick himself primus anyhow, is he? Exactly. They're back in the centre, the man of the moment, Robert Bickley, McGuinness, and kick somewhere near Modra. Actually, Paxman back on him does pretty well. It, uh, it really is becoming a procession out of the middle. And with Robert just dominating primus in that area. And Fitzroy's last score of the first quarter, 23 and a half minutes, which is well, not that long ago in real terms, but uh, the seven goals that the Crows have kicked have really hurt the scoreboard. Chandler takes a very good mark. So let's see what Fitzroy can do. They're really shell-shocked. Whoops! Wants to come wide. Kluzak runs at him, so he kicks the ball 10 metres to Dent. Dent now goes much longer. Two on one here. Oh. D. Jarman. Fernie have got their name on it, the Crows, some of these players. Fernie gives a good off handball, the first gamer. Kicks out wide, no one on lip tack, hasn't been for half an hour. Kicks into Hart, he wants a party trip too. So Ben Hart has joined, and over the top pod, he could run on but decides to go back. So some loose marking, that the discipline's just fallen apart. And whilst it's not his man, John Barker had his back to play, just uh, walking back with his man, Cave, and could have come out and contested that with Bond. It's lack of concentration. Troy Bond kicks and has kicked his first, and the close eighth for the quarter. Yes, yeah, so and Troy Bond becomes their seventh goal kicker. So they really are starting to share it around with Robert at four, but their use and their space has been very good. Players finding uh, room all over the ground, and if the defender comes down, he gets involved as well. Just shows you how easily they're doing it. So perfect football conditions here at Football Park, and uh, there's Robert Shaw, but I'm sure the Fitzroy players don't think the conditions are all that good. Now, don't tell me this will be a... Oh, that's again the Fitzroy... They've had an extra man in the square. And twice it's been off their half-forward line, Pete. Oh, goodness me. Well, here's Robin going to kick it wide to Nigel Smart, who's coming down into the action. He marks. He loves to play on. He didn't turn his back. He was still looking, which is good play. Now he brings it across towards half-forward. Caven is the fly. That one went with him. He took that mark uncontested. And we'll kick from 30 metres directly in front. And if I was Alan McConnell, I'd be tearing my hair out. You watch this. Well, Modrigate, the initial lead, Pete, then ducked around and uh, left the space there and just interchanged with Caven, who then ran to the same spot. Uncontested so, mark. So Caven, oh, it's out to the left. He's missed it. And he's getting the uh, hoots of the crowd. Because there's been an avalanche of goals. They've kicked eight in this term, Adelaide. And Fitzroy haven't scored a goal. No, the record scores by Adelaide against Fitzroy is 21-6. And I've got a feeling that might be in jeopardy. So Fitzroy kicked it back in. Primus almost does something. Doesn't do it now. That's good. 
that'll give him a lift. Off to Baldwin. Kicks towards centre half forward. Oh, nearly grabbed by McCarthy. Oh, takes his eye off the footy as he so often does. Jarman cool. Just belts the ball forward. Bond runs at it and gets paid the reward. Jamison back to Bond. He can kick from 40 metres. And there's another one. This second for the quarter. And there I say, the Crows night. And we've still got seven minutes to go, Ross. Yes, and it's not meant to be a derogatory comment, but uh, the simplicity of football in this situation really is, and it should have happened uh, two or three minutes into the second quarter, is you just man up. When a side has a run on like that, you've just got to be accountable for someone. Try and stem the flow. At the moment, Fitzroy players are just all over the shop. So, as I said earlier, an avalanche of goals, 14-2 to 1-4. Primus got his hands to that one. Danny Morton bends it towards half forward. John Rombotis against Ben Hart. A bit of talent there. Well played by Rombotis. Fisker dives on it. Rombotis again. He hook, hauls it in, and the umpire is going to come and bounce it. So, I think that was Ashley Fernie there. Not this, it looks very like uh, Visca, the two of them down there. So the bounce by Chris Mitchell is way out at half forward. Knocked further afield. Oh, that's a free kick. The lip tack. He was caught very, very high onto Jarman. Look at that. His kicking is just so good to Rusciuto. Mark Rusciuto. Oh, a little bit casual there. Oh, but even that comes off. As it's marked by Cave and he's trying to get onto his left boot. Modra's one out. A long kick. Here comes Modra. No free kick. The crowd thought it was. Oh, here's another one. McLeod under his left leg. Running goals. So Andrew McLeod gets into the action. He kicks a goal. And Adelaide have kicked 15 to 1. Yes, and the importance of just sharing the ball through half back and then going direct with a long kick which it was to find Cave, and he does the same thing. Crowd calling for interference to Modra. Really not much there, but the backup support's always been around him. The margin is 82 points. Six minutes remain in the second quarter. Robin gets his hand on it, as he so often does. Lip tack works well. Back to Robin. Now on to Bickley. Favours Paxman this. So Modra has to punch from behind. Here's the dangerous bomb. Caven goes cross goals. No one at home. Will the ball sit in? It will not. And a boundary throw in. In right forward pocket. 30 metres from the Crows goal. Yeah, from here, Mel. I think he probably should have come inside with a handball to Modra, who was clear. And there's some keen Crows fans listening in. 82 points, big margin. Caven out of the air, kicks. This is a free kick. But it's just missed. In fact, we had a good look at that. We looked at it right across the top of the goal, didn't it? The goal post. Started to bend back and it was a wobbly, but it was on his right foot, Peter Caven. But the way they're going, I would, I would have expected to go in. Now, I'll tell you what, their interchange don't look like getting a run at the moment. Here's uh, Jamison, the big fist. Down towards Modra and taken away by McLeod. Runs around. There's another one. So McLeod's kicked two goals. Two goals in a couple of minutes to McLeod and Adelaide. Well, when they get a run on like this, they love it, don't they? Yes, yeah, so they come pretty hot, Pete. And then Paxman's uh, this ball comes in. Good spoil by Jamison. And then. Runs at it, tries to force the ball through with one hand, two hands by McLeod. Will always win out. Too easy. Yes, the record books might get a shattering today if this continues. Robran, Jarman, almost have to say the same thing at every centre bounce, don't you? Finally, they get one back and ends up with McCarthy. They really need to halt this, just for playing for a bit of pride now. Bamford. Goes back inside. And nice kick to Hogg. So 
by Jeff Hogg. Hasn't seen much of the footy this quarter. Kicks. Nice long kick. Flyers wanted. But it's Anderson stands his ground in front. And that is a very good mark. Look, Tack gives it off to Smart. The bounce is good, favours McGuinness. Kicks the ball around. Bond in front. Good pressure from behind. That was better. Made him try and earn the kick. Charmer oh. just rocking up getting kicks. This midfield is absolutely blitzing him. Kicks. Caven from behind jumps high. Modra on the break. Has a Caven there. Decides to go back inside. And it's Jamison. He's been down there for about, uh, I've seen an attorney now. He's run down from the half back area to find that space. They didn't see him on the outer wing as they brought the ball forward, but in the end, Modra did. Well, Jamison deserved to get one back because he's been very unselfish, giving the ball off a couple of times. Yeah, interesting. The standout quarters in the second quarter in the all time history of the game's 12 6. Ironically, Fitzroy did it against St. Kilda in 1983. The Crows have their sights on that record as Jamison gets their 12. 16 overall. And the massacre continues. Yes, yeah, and Rod Jamison, who's a fine player, I believe, can play back and forward. He's a beautiful disposer of the ball. Just ran to space. Liptak didn't see him. Did you just see Jamison at the bottom of the screen there? He could very well have come toward him, but Modra did in the end, as I said. And he did the finishing. I think the other thing, Ross, the kicking, 17 goals, three. You don't see that too often. No. And uh, due credit to Greg Anderson for a great defensive mark for a wingman in the goal square. Well, not very often in AFL football have I seen a scoreboard like that. 17-3 to 1-4. Let's hope Fitzroy can redeem themselves a little bit here. Danny Morton towards the half forward line. It's a loose ball. Hart. And now Mark Lasciuto. He drives it towards centre wing. Mark Bickley's got it. Can they get another one? Bickley down in the direction of Modra, but it's uh, uh, Johnny Barker chipping across in front, took a nice mark. He in turn, oh, an ordinary kick. Paxman, Chandler, Actons, Morton, Actons again. Here's Pike. What can Fitzroy do here? Martin Pike runs to 50, drives a goal, he's missed, and puts a trooper behind, and you'll hear some cheers here. Ironical cheers for the poor old Roy's, but uh, first they, score for the quarter, Peter. Yeah, they need some old-fashioned uh, manning up and uh, a bit of blood and guts, I think. Look how it comes to Collins. This is what the Crows did early in the year with all those good sides, didn't they? Essendon, Swans, as we found out later. Great kick from Smart to lift that. Geelong. They did, did some damage. Comes hard out of Caven. Primus wins the football. Now under pressure, while well, they're under enormous pressure, Barker. Anderson gets the ball forward to Kluzak. He'll give it off to Modra. And they've kicked their third off. They've got the record in the second quarter. Very unselfish there by Matthew Kluzak too. And there's a Crows player down at centre-half forward. Can't tell you who it is. Is it young Collins, maybe? Tackle there by Cave and then by Robin. No, in fact, it's Cave, is it? Yes, it is. It is Cave. So he hurt himself in that tackle, maybe a shoulder. He's all right. Yes, it's just over two minutes to go. We're back in the centre. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Jarman, he uses his skills beautifully. His kicking is just. Just a delight to watch. Lip tack. Wants Modra. Hutchman's right with him. At least he's been contesting and Tony Modra tries to do a Wayne Harms. Ah, uh, the 79 grand final and Wiedemann. Wiedemann's pack. And Wiedemann's going to come on, so you'll hear a roar when the weed comes on. They're loving it. Yeah, he came and caught one in the, uh, in the bush there, so I'm not sure he's bleeding, but one of those games where you probably don't want to come off. Robert doing some good rock work. Here's Jarman. As Wiedemann lumbers onto the ground, looking like he's just off the old biking ship. There's Jarman, he's been absolutely outstanding and uh, just a delight to come to the football and watch that guy play. Here's a chance for Kluzek, tried to suck it off the ground. Pike to Johnson, comes back and goes across the ground. He spotted someone out here as Barker, he can't get back for the mark, but he'll. Uh, 
Pick it up and drive it to the half back area. Hart is a very, very quick player, Ben Hart. Very well played. Gets it to Tony McGuinness. Let's see if they can get another one. They've got just over a minute. McGuinness chips it across. He's got Bond. Or Bond. Oh, oh, bad. Bad play that was. They've mucked that up. Baldwin comes back to Atkins. He was held, said the umpire. So they had a chance to get another one. They mucked it up. Yes, they did. Atkins, centre wing. It's about 40 seconds to go of this uh, second quarter. Crows want more of it. Fitzroy want to stop it. Big flies. Ball went caught. Jamison to Rusciuto. Gives it to Anderson. And Ben Hart can run. Williams by himself. He's got a panic. Will probably come round. as a player out wide. He goes for goal. McLeod's by himself. It doesn't matter. An unbelievable four in goals for the quarter. Tell you, now it's not about Bruce, is he? You come on the ground, you've been sitting on the bench watching this, and your first touch, good clean mark, good setup, and you just swung around onto your left boot and belt it through from about uh, 50. Right on 50. Yeah, it's amazing. This is the uh, so 14 goals for a quarter. You don't see that too often. That's incredible. No, I can remember one in about 92 that uh, Geelong did against the Bears and kicked 14 in the last quarter. Well, there's Robert Shaw and uh, Haven. They're back in the centre. 106 point margin at half time is almost unheard of. And heaven forbid. to stop the agony of Fitzroy and uh, I guess you'd say ecstasy of Adelaide I mean it is important for them now to go on with this uh, percentage will become important yeah. if they can win enough games very much so and they don't have a bad percentage they're about 100% which is uh, which is okay and it puts them certainly above uh, the Richmonds and the Hawthorns who are a bit lower than that so uh, sorry Hawthorns and Yes, so the Hawthorne, which is, is well, really the team that they're up against. It's so sad, though, uh, Ross, to see a side that are playing for nothing yep. and they're just not putting any physical pressure on whatsoever. Yes, they've got Adelaide pretty hot. Unfortunately, they allowed them to get hotter and then it's uh, so very difficult to pull them back. But as you mentioned, uh, we just to see what the Crows' attitude is like at the start of the third quarter. Where they become a bit complacent and allow Fitzroy to get themselves uh, into the forward line a little more often. Yes, that is to score at half time. Adelaide have kicked amazingly 19 goals, 3, 117 to Fitzroy's 1 5 11.